Hello, all it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. I am here tonight actually for one of my new series. Um, this is actually going to be a little switch up of a type of video that I'm doing on tonight. So I am calling this a Zodiac Expression, okay? And it's going to be what's going on, how they doing, um, how they dealing, and how they feeling, okay? Uh, and this is going to be for all of the Zodiac signs as well. Anyway, I hope that you all are doing well and you're feeling well on tonight. I'm going to cleanse out the energy, guys. Um, and we're going to get started with these messages. Hold on. Let me grab my sage, guys. Okay, guys. So I got my sage, honey. So we're going to cleanse out the energy. And we're just going to get started with this message, okay? Um, so like I said, this is a new series I'm entitling Zodiac Expression. Um, and we're going to be talking about um, what's going on, how you're doing, how they dealing, and how they feeling, okay? This is going to be for all zodiac signs. So, um, this is going to be a little bit of something for everybody, okay? there and we're gonna get started okay so I believe we're going to start with um, the king of wands okay so um, this is going to be for um, a fire sign male um, Sagittarius Aries or Leo okay so any one of those um, signs okay would be a, a king of wands individual okay so we have several different messages here and how i'm going to do this like i said this is going to be for the king of wands here sagittarius aries or leo male okay um okay guys so the energy that i have for the king of wands here we have the three of cups okay so this king of wands rather Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, they're dealing with some type of third-party situation, okay? Um, and with the Ace of Swords coming through, this is definitely the truth. This person is definitely making it do what it do, honey. They're doing what they want to do. What I am feeling is this King of Wands was in a relationship. If look, there's more than there's more than one situation. There's more than one way that this can go, okay? Um, either th this this king of wands is in a serious committed relationship with somebody, okay? And they have threesomes together, okay? And they are very happy with doing so. S um, scenario number one. Scenario number two, oh, boy, this, this king of wands um, has been in a serious committed relationship with someone um, and they've kind of fallen apart yet I feel like are still tied together so possibly a marriage that you know um, the sexual attraction or something isn't there anymore and this person has begun to mess with a third party individual to um, have an affair with someone else which he is very happy in doing so um, if, if this is your situation you know you are married to someone that you are no longer happy with and um you know maybe the sex was cut off you're no longer having sex but you are definitely still getting it in that i feel with this third party situation here you have somebody else that you are dealing with that you are having sex with that is fulfilling your needs quite well okay and spirit is coming through and saying that that is the damn truth okay um but like i said it's going to be one or the other you are in a serious committed relationship, okay? Either way it go, King of Wands, okay? Um, and either you and the person that you're in the relationship with, y'all enjoy having threesomes together and very happy in doing so, or um, 
you are in a serious committed relationship with somebody um, and you you're no longer happy you're no longer fulfilled and so you have began to have an affair with somebody else that fulfills you very much so and you are happy with doing so either one of those situations if it's for you um, Spirit is saying that this is the damn truth, and that's just what it do pertaining to the situation, okay? But I definitely feel like you're getting it in, honey, because we got good love making here, okay? So whether you and your partner are having threesomes together and you're happy with doing so, there is some good love making that is happening in this situation, honey. Um, if you are in a serious committed relationship and or married to somebody and that situation is no longer happy anymore but y'all are still stuck together um for some reason um you are having some good love making with a third party okay there is most definitely uh passion romance love and happiness in either situation okay so um you are not going without being fulfilled here okay so whether you and your partner are having threesomes together or whether you and your partner are no longer happy together and you have you a side piece um but you you make you got some good love making going on here okay a lot of passion romance love and much happiness yeah okay for those of you who have this third party situation going on um, and you haven't quite been able to get out of this serious committed relationship that you were in. You had a date with somebody. And this went from a, a date night to the love of your life. Okay, so you had a date with somebody. Um, you know, you wasn't being fulfilled or pleased at home. Um, but you haven't been able to get a divorce, finalize a divorce, or end your situation. But whoever you have this date night with, honey, they rocked your world. And this date night turned to the love of your life, child. But either way it go, you there is much happiness with this situation, okay? With the Ace of Swords coming up, this is the truth, honey. You making it do what it do. And you are fulfilled and happy in what you are doing. You having fun. There is excitement. There is happiness. There is joy. You very glad. You feeling lovely. Um, blessings among the amongst the situation that is going on, whether it is a uh, you know threesomes that are happening, you're happy with doing so. All parties are pleased, or if it's just a marriage or a serious committed relationship that is no longer working, you have already found you somebody else that you are ready to move forward with and have definitely already been having some dates and having some sex, honey. You laying it down like a fifth of crown, child, okay? There is laughter. There is peace amongst this situation, okay? There is a lot of passion, honey. When passion comes up, we're not just talking about sex, okay? Passion is more than sex. We're talking about love. We're talking about romance. Romance. We're talking about, you know, matters of the heart here, okay? We're talking about linking up with a soulmate here, okay? So, you know, whether you got a situation or not that, that you're trying to get away from, that you, you, you're wrapping up and haven't been finalized just yet, yet you have definitely, this third party person that has come into your life, you are very fulfilled and happy with, okay? Yeah, why? Because there's a whole lot of sexual healing, honey. You climaxing all over the place, okay? Um, there could even be some sex magic that's going on. Um, this also talks about passion. This talks about pleasure, honey. Mm -mm. Good, okay? Love making and feeling good. You got a lot of sexual healing that's going on here. So rather we're talking about um, a threesome situations that you and your partner is happy with doing or rather we are talking about you straying away from that situation and you have met this third party that you are very happy and fulfilled with okay however um uh for for those of you who were in a serious committed relationship or a marriage that you're no longer happy in and you haven't been able to finalize the ending of that yet, you have definitely started something else. But um, the hidden truth to this situation is you don't react when people mention you. It says, I don't react when people mention you, okay? So if this is pertaining to the person who haven't been able to get out of a situation that you wasn't happy in before you moved on, when people mention that person, um, you know, you just don't react, okay? Or it could be 
you know, you could be having some family or some friends asking you about this new boo that they've been seeing you with or whatever. You try not to react. You try not to let on, you know, what's going on. But you are definitely fulfilled in what you are doing, honey. That is the truth, okay? Um, yeah, you feel that somebody is leaving you behind, okay? So for the person who you did have a, a serious committed relationship or a marriage with somebody, y'all just kind of drifted apart. You felt like this person... This person wasn't giving you any passion or romance. This person wasn't showing you any love or affection or attention. This person was no longer interested in pleasing you to the fullest or y'all pleasing each other to the fullest, okay? And at some point, you felt like that person was leaving you behind. And, you know, you ended up meeting this third-party situation, honey. And, yeah, um, y'all y'all, y'all getting it on, okay? Um, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you, okay? So this third-party person, like, they're on your mind all the time. When you at work, honey, when you try to lay down and go to sleep, when you take a shower, honey, um, whatever you are doing throughout the day, child, this third-party um, person that has come into your life and they done put it on you, but you cannot stop thinking about them, okay? Okay. So let's see, um... Let's get um, an extra message to um, clarify this overall situation, honey, and we're going to keep it moving, okay? Let's see what else Spirit would like to come through. Okay. Faith, okay? <clears throat> faith. I feel like you have had faith. Throughout everything that you have endured, everything that you have been dealing with, you have been going through, um, you had faith throughout your marriage or your serious committed relationship that you were in. Um, you had as much faith as possible. You dealt as long as you could. And, you know, your spirit guide sent you in this third party before you could finalize that situation, which some people might frown upon. But it was just the motivation and determination that you needed to move forth. And you have had faith through it all. Okay. So there's no need for you to feel down. Um, you know, for you to feel ashamed or anything like that or whatever. Also, Spirit is coming through and telling you to keep the faith, okay? So, if there is a struggle that is going on, if you are um, somebody who is, you you have been trying to seek a divorce pertaining a situation and this person is refusing to give you a divorce, um, you know, sending you through hell and high water for no reason at all type of thing. Spirit is telling you to have faith, Um pertaining to what you're dealing with what you are going through because you know things are going to turn out um you know for the good for you you know for the good of all parties involved okay but um yeah honey you in this third party situation right now okay just because of the simple fact that you have not been able to loose and release um what no longer serves you because of some type of ties or bonds that y'all have together y'all probably have children together or either y'all were married y'all have some type of some type of commitment that binds you all together and it's, it wasn't a situation like girlfriend boyfriend where you if it was over you could just up and leave type of thing or whatever but this third party has definitely come in honey and made really made your day lifted your spirits and you have been you 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 feeling fulfilled in a way that you have not felt um in quite some time and you're happy with that okay um and then for those of you who are in the situation where you and your partner that you are with enjoy having threesomes, there's no need for you to feel ashamed or worried about that. It's not something that has to be broadcasted, you know, to the world. So it's not about what anybody else feels about it. If you two have that agreement and y'all are happy and fulfilled with doing that with one another, and that's what you all like doing, Spirit is telling you all to have faith in your love, in your relationship. Maybe this is something that y'all started to spice up your relationship um you know to keep y'all um attracted to each other keep y'all together you know to liven up the relationship or something spirit is coming through and telling you to continue to have faith in your relationship and all will work out fine okay guys Okay, so the next message we have here is going to be for the Queen of Coins, okay? So this is a female energy. This is going to be a woman who is a Capricorn, Taurus, or 
Virgo individual, okay? Now, um, th again, there's more than one situation that is going on here. This Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo individual, you are either a mother or you are currently pregnant with child, okay? Um, if you are not already a mother, if you are not already pregnant with child, um, I feel that there is somebody else in your life who is a mother, okay? So we could be talking about a lesbian situation. There's more than one situation going on here. I'm going to express them both with you, okay? So for the for the 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 Queen of Coins, the Capricorn Taurus or Virgo individual who is a mother or who is pregnant right now, there's definitely some type of competition that is going on pertaining to the situation that you are in. You could be in competition for somebody else's attention, for somebody's love or something or whatever, but there's definitely some type of conflict or competition pertaining to the situations that you are dealing with. Um, uh, with the Hierophant here, um, there could be someone who is a spiritualist, who is a, 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 a psychic, a motivational speaker, a healer, a teacher, or somebody of some kind. You could be in competition with this individual, this person who is, the, the, the person that you're in competition with could be someone who is a mother, who is a psychic or a spiritualist or a healer of some kind, a teacher of some kind. You are in some type of competition either with other people for this person or you are in competition against this person okay um however um spirit is coming through and telling you there there's some with the with the eight of ones here there's some type of fast communication information news messages um whether it's through phone call text email um letter mail um, some type of fast communication that is coming through to you. Um, I, I feel like about this person, okay? Um, we could be, like I said, there is more than one situation going on here, okay? We have this Capricorn Taurus or Virgo individual, this uh, woman, okay? Because we're talking about a female here. Um, you could have been in a relationship with somebody. Um, maybe there was a separation or a breakup. You had some type of fling or something you ended up being pregnant okay but you are still in competition with individuals over your ex or about your ex or something like that um you know you could have i don't you could have if you got pregnant it, it probably was not on purpose okay um you could be receiving messages, news, or getting results back. These could be the messages to find out that you, that you are pregnant or, or some situation like that, okay? Um, and and this, this could be something that you have been trying to hide or trying to keep away from certain individuals like your ex or something like that or whatever, especially if we are talking about lesbians that were together okay because we were talking about a woman's energy here and then we have the empress here which either would be this woman is an empress or we're talking about an, another individual that this woman is in dealings with in some type of way shape form or fashion okay so um if this is a lesbian situation and say that there was a separation or a break up um, there, there was something that went on and this, this, this queen of coins who was normally, a, who was a lesbian ended up being with a guy and got pregnant. Okay. Um, but is in some type of competition and with, 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 um, somebody who is a psychic, somebody who is a healer, a motivational speaker, a, a, a teacher of some kind, um, uh, um, somebody, um, a spiritualist or um, something of that nature, okay? But I feel like that there is definitely some type of competition or conflict pertaining to if you are not, like I said, pregnant or if you are not a mother, okay? I feel like that, that you are in competition or conflict with others over this 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 person this this woman who is a mother okay and not only is she a mother but this is the person who is 
either psychic or a spiritualist or a healer or a motivational speaker or a teacher or um, uh, some type of spiritual leader or counselor or something like that, okay? But there are some type of messages, news, or information that is coming in either pertaining if you're somebody if you are if you do not know that you are pregnant right now you could be receiving information maybe it's from the doctor or something letting you know that you are pregnant or um you know whatever health uh thing that you could have going on okay um however if you are not pregnant if you do not already have a child this is somebody else, okay, that you are in competition or conflict with or over this person. And somebody could be sending you some messages, news, or information pertaining to this person. Hey, I seen this person. I talked to this person. This guy, I, I, this, that, or the other is going on or whatever, okay? So, um, spirit, the, the spirit came through and telling me, um, with... <laughs> when getting your groove back goes wrong okay so this is going to be for the woman um who was a lesbian okay um and ended up messing with a man and you have found out that you are pregnant okay this says when getting your groove back goes wrong okay um there is a capricorn Taurus, or virgo individual who is pregnant who did not necessarily want to be Okay, the next message that we have here, and you could be trying to hide this from, say, your ex, who is a female, um, or uh, other people, or something like that, but you did something freaky, and, you know, you got your freak on, got your groove back with, with somebody else, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, if that you full grown, you can do what you want to do with your own body, okay, but you ended up getting pregnant, okay, the next message we have here is moving out and moving on, okay? So you could be contemplating leaving um, where you grew up from, where you came from, because you want to hide this. You don't want people to know um, about this or something, okay? Um, so you definitely thinking about moving out and moving on from situations. There is some type of heartache and heartbreak. I feel like you probably are very saddened and heartbroken that... Um, you know, this has happened. I feel like if this individual is pregnant, you definitely did not want to get pregnant. You don't want a child and you could be too far along um, to get an abortion or something like that. Or um, this also could, this also could be pertaining to someone if you were pregnant and lost that child. But pertaining to this other individual um, that you are in conflict or, or, or competition or something over, um, I feel like that you have been trying to keep this from this individual or hide this from certain people. Um, we have here a tease for good reason, okay? So you are definitely a tease, Um in some way, shape, form, or fashion with people that you are, you deal with. Um, maybe you have been a tease. You have been, you know, kind of trying to keep your distance just because you're trying to keep this hidden. Um, you know, besides pregnancy, um, if this person just kind of he just hit it and used you for sex and, and quit it and took off and left and now you're pregnant or you contracted something, or something, I can see how this, you know, really makes a person feel very down and alone and not want people to know that or um, wanting to get away, okay? Um, Spirit is coming through and saying that you are unfulfilled and unsatisfied. So, um, you know, you probably did this on in a, in, uh, you probably did this, um, in, in, on a night of hanging out, of chilling, of kicking it, getting high, drinking, or whatever, um, just for fun, or, you know, just doing what grown people do, and you didn't expect all of this to come from it, and to be stuck like this, but I definitely feel like, um, 
the other individual involved with this used you, okay, and it's just kind of left you. You were un you're unfulfilled, you're unsatisfied, you're feeling lonely, um, you know, you're heartbroken, um, okay, you definitely, you don't feel like you have any love, um, you know, with, so this is somebody, this is not even like really a relationship with somebody. Somebody was using you and probably got you pregnant. Now the fool has took off. Okay. You really kind of want to make up with your ex. Okay. Um, your ex is probably a mother. Okay. Somebody who is a spiritualist, a psychic. So nine times out of 10, she already knows this, even though you haven't said this. Um, you really want to make up with her, but you really don't know how. Um, you don't know how to show back up and, and ask for their help or their support. Why? Because you have been in conflict with them. You have been in competition with them. You have been doing some very mean and cruel and evil things with other people behind their back to them. Um, you've lied to them. You've worked against them. Um, you probably... You, done some black magic and other things on them you really want to make up with them though um but in doing so would mean you showing back up to this person pregnant okay um somebody who was supposed to be a lesbian um so um that's what's going on with this situation and this 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 um this queen of coins here is coming through and saying, I wish things could be different. Okay. This queen of coins wish things could be different. This queen of coins also wishes their, that this person um, that they have been in competition and conflict with. Okay. Who is this empress? Who is this hierophant? Okay. This is somebody who is a mother. This is somebody who is a spiritualist, a psychic, um, a, a spiritual leader or teacher or um or, or something of that kind you're saying i hope that you can forgive me one day okay so that's what's going on with this capricorn taurus or virgo female okay i feel very sorry that that situation is going on it's um out of out of all the readings here it's the most heartbreaking situation it really is it, it, it really kind of is but you know um, people are grown and you know do what you want to do and you have to live with you know choices we decide to make in life okay I'm going to get another message here from spirit and, and see you know um, what else spirit would like to say balance okay so spirit is coming through and telling you you need to find some type of balance okay um try to find some type of solace within the situation y'all these are some holographic cards okay they have a very shiny imagery on them okay so it could be very hard for you all to see what's on the card here okay um like I said, this talks about balance. Spirit is telling you to balance your situation, balance your feelings, your emotions. You need to balance your finances. Um, you need to um, figure out what you what you can do, what you need to do to move forward, okay? Um, it's, it, it, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of life for you. It's an unfortunate situation, but there are ways that you can move forward, um, first of all, stop being in conflict and competition and doing mean and, and spiteful and hateful things to other people, number one. Number two, you have to find balance uh, for your own health and well-being, um, especially if you're going to be bringing a new life into the world, okay? Um, and, and rather a pregnancy or contracting something from somebody else that you had a fling with or something like that um you know there is there is help available to you there are treatments and things and things available to you you need to find balance in your situation okay um you don't need to make any hasty um moves to try to hurt yourself or hurt someone else um you know if it's really a situation where like you didn't want a child or or something like that there are avenues that you can go through for that okay as well um if you're too far alone um 
if, if, if a family member or something of yours would not like to adopt the child or something like that, there are avenues available for you. You know, don't, don't hurt your child. Or anything like that or whatever there are avenues that's open for you to successfully and safely um, give that child over to somebody that can care for and love that child okay <clears throat> if that is your situation okay but <clears throat> this is something that goes on in life every single day nobody in the world is perfect Everybody makes mistakes. It's no need for you per, per, pertaining to specifically that situation. Getting pregnant by somebody who used you sexually and this was an accident. You wasn't trying for this to happen, okay? Nobody can judge you on how what you decide to do with your body sexually, okay? So whether you have normally been a lesbian or, or, or whether, you know, you have been with a guy multiple times or just prefer to be with guys discreetly but be lesbian openly you you know bisexual and don't want anybody to know that's your business you have the right to live like that if you want to live like that but spirit is telling you to find balance okay nobody can fault you or put you down for that you may seem ashamed or embarrassed about that but it's nothing to be embarrassed about okay so don't do any make any hasty moves to hurt yourself or somebody else because you are worried about what other people would say or think or something like that. It doesn't matter what other people would say or think. We're talking about your life. We're talking about your health, your well-being, and that of a child, especially if you're bringing a new child into the world, okay? Closed mouths don't get fed, okay? If you speak to the right people, you tell people what you need, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are avenues that are open with individuals that will help you, okay? Um Considering the fact that you have been in conflict and competition with this other person, I, I and, and, and and done some things to them, um, I can't tell you that um, you will be able to get back with this person, okay? But considering the fact that I feel like this person um, is a good spirited, good hearted, loving person, caring person, generous person, spiritualist, I I almost guarantee you that they they would. Um, take care of this child for you if they needed to okay so you you need to either way it go you need to find balance and you need to um you 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 need to stand on your own two feet ten toes down okay there's nothing to be ashamed or embarrassed about you have to communicate and tell people what you need what support what help you need okay now it, it's no I, I seen the makeup card that came out i'm not telling you that you can make up with this person but if you showed up with your child if you showed up on this person's doorstep with your child and was in need of help for your child this person would definitely help you okay Period, point blank. Because she is an empress. She is a mother. She is a spiritual. She is a psych. She's not going to turn somebody away in need of help. She, she's, she's, she's not going to. You've, you, you've hurt her. Okay. You've hurt this person. You've done some mean and evil, wicked things to this person. So this person is not going to be back in a relationship with you. But if it came to the love, the support, the need of that child. Rather, uh, formula, diapers, wipes, clothes, getting this, 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 this baby to doctor's appointments, whatever that child needs, this person will most definitely help you. Period. No questions asked. Okay. Okay, guys. Um... The next situation we have here is going to be for a king of cups. This is a male energy. This is somebody who is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio male. Okay. Um, I feel like this, 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 um, this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio male is all up in their feelings and their emotions right now. I'm talking extremely emotional. Okay. This cup runneth over with emotions. Okay. We're talking about extreme feelings, extreme emotions pertaining to a situation that they're dealing with. Okay. This person is feeling very down, very sad, uh, depressed, stressed even. And um, because they're a water sign, their emotions and their feelings is all over the place. Okay. Um, he is very emotional right now. And it's pertaining to 
um, the lovers here, okay? Um, this person um, is trying to make some type of decision when it comes to love, okay? I feel like this person, um, uh, I was getting ready to say Scorpio, okay? Um, I, I This person is battling their sexuality, okay? Um this 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 person um portrays to like women but is really fulfilled and pleased the most by men and this person don't know how to come out and openly um uh be do the things that really make them happy so they're in this mental conflict here um this situation that this decision they're making a decision pertaining to love a relationship they're extremely emotional about a relationship that they are in i feel like this person has had a main relationship with like somebody that they were living with but this is somebody who has had multiple partners okay this is somebody who pays prostitutes for sex this is somebody who has sex with women and men this is somebody who is gay for pay this is somebody who has sexual addictions and demons on them okay um but uh, the situation that they're making a decision about or a decision is made being made about that they're extremely emotional extremely overwhelmed and emotional about with the six of cups here they're moving on to calmer waters i believe finally there is going to be a breakup at least with these people um something could have happened something could have went on um but something has definitely like yanked these people apart okay and this king of cups is deciding finally to move on like um Maybe this person put them out. They have nowhere else to go. Maybe they got into a big knockout, dragout fight with all, you know, the other things that was going on outside of their relationship. And they have come to a conclusion that they don't need to live together. But this King of Cups is moving, um, perhaps having to move back home or move in with other people or, you know, they could be getting their own place or whatever. But I feel like this King of Cups is very codependent on women, yet women is not what fulfills them and makes them happy, okay? Um, this person is a super sexual, so they will definitely have sex with a woman. But this is a person who, there's a lot of things that turns them on. They're addicted to porn. They're addicted to masturbating. They're addicted to um, having all kinds of illicit sex, whether it be with a prostitute or not. This person, dick really gets hard for another man, though. This person loves the ass, okay? Um, and this person is in mental conflict because he doesn't want to come out openly with what really pleases him and makes him happy um this is someone who um uh, is gay for pay okay um this is someone who also probably has mommy issues also probably endured childhood trauma was molested or raped even which is the reason why they're in mental conflict this is also someone okay um who cross dresses okay um there's a part of of him that is there is feminine okay and he embraces this this feminine side of him um only two certain individuals okay um, I feel like around women he puts up this front like he's masculine and manly man thug out rough and tough type of guy around other men um, the feminine side of him will come out or um, in a relationship with say a transgender person this is somebody who will cross dress have cross dress um, he maybe he may even want to be a woman but I don't I don't I don't feel it in in the not to the point of completely transgendering 
like, you know, getting the penis chopped off and things like that or whatever. But he definitely is fulfilled with putting on women's underwear, heels, um, dressing like a woman, acting like a woman um, type of thing. Even being... Uh, um, even being um, treated like a woman sexually um, type of thing, okay? And this is a side of him that he cannot express with everyone, okay? And this is the reason why this person is in mental conflict. Um, there could have been... Um, this this decision that was made with you know with the lovers being here that he's in extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions about could be he could have contracted something from uh one of his male partners or something or he could have contracted something from this this individual that he is with i i possibly transgender individual but i feel like this person um, probably has children, okay, um, and things too, so this, per this person definitely has messed with women before, okay, um, on the forefront, he has to put up this persona to, you know, the hood, to his fam, to the, to the world, that he is straight, but he, he, he really is a switch hitter, okay, um, he gets aroused and pleased the most by other men, um, I, I, I believe even, even, um, transsexuals, okay, um, not fully transformed transsexuals, um, transsexuals that look like women have breasts, but also still have their dick, okay, um, and so that's what's going on with the situation. I feel like this person, like I said, he's had a lot of third party situations. I feel like it's a trip because the relationship that he was in, they set up people and have sex with other people for money together. Like, I feel like she got him into this. Um, uh, she was this, this, I believe... <sighs> This person was into this first and got him into a lot of this. And this is the reason why this has kept their bond. This person has had a hold over him as long as she has. Because um, if he ever wanted to leave or anything like that, she threatened to expose him. His sex capades, okay? I believe this person has even had sex with a younger person and gotten a younger person pregnant. Like, teenage younger. Um... Uh, there, there's a lot, okay, um, this person, uh, there's a lot that arouses this person, um, this person might even participate in bestiality, like, sex with animals, um, or, um, other very illicit, explicit, uh, edgy sexual things, okay, um, nevertheless, the extra messages we have here is no matter what the people say, we are going to make it anyway. So I feel like this is coming through his emotions that he had for some third party person that he's been dealing with. Okay. But he really hasn't been with. I feel like the manly side of him really, and I feel like this is for a woman. Okay, I feel like the manly side of him that so desperately that he's like combating and fighting against really wants to be a man and, and have a a heterosexual relationship. And so he's like clinging on, holding on. I feel like to somebody that it, you know, he hasn't been in a relationship like, you know, like that. He probably had sex with them before. But not in a serious committed relationship like girlfriend, boyfriend before. But he feels like, you know, you know, yeah, I'm doing all of this and I'm doing all of that. And I've been part of all of this and that and I've lied and all this and that. But we're going to be together. This is what's in his head. Okay. This is what he thinks. Okay. Forget how many times he's lied. 
how many times, you know, he's deceived and manipulated and got over and done all type of sinister, evil, wicked things or whatever. In his mind, he thinks that somebody is sitting on a back burner waiting for him. And whenever he feel like it, he can come through and be like, you know what? No matter what, we, we're going to be together, okay? But this person is like super in their emotions right now. The situation, the where they their live in situation that they had going on, I feel like he's having to move away to calmer waters pertaining to this situation. Um, if this person is a is a father, his baby mother is somebody different than the transgender that he was in a relationship with, as well as different than all the other women and all the other men. That he has had sex with too. Like this person has a lot of partners. Okay. This um this breakup within this relationship. Also could have stemmed from. Paying for sex with prostitutes. And contracting something. Or him being obsessive. About some someone else. And this person knowing. And you know there could, could have been a lot of fighting. And conflict amongst them. And it has finally come to a head where. You know, somebody is moving on, having to move on, move forward, leave a situation alone. Okay, um, he look, he wants to straighten it out, but this is with one of his third party individuals. I don't feel like it's with this person here. It could be, you know, he could be, you know, saying, Look, no matter what, we're gonna make it, let's straighten it out, or whatever. But something. Something has come to a head because with the Six of Cups here, somebody is moving on from a situation to calmer waters, okay? This talks about moving on from your current situation, you know, getting away from, from things that bound you, tie you down, um, have kept you conflicted or whatever. So somebody is moving on from this situation. There's a decision that is being made pertaining to a love situation that this person has had, okay? Because the lovers talks about making a decision within love about a relationship, okay? Um, look, this person has a lot of temptations. Like I said, this person has a lot of temptation. He definitely has a sexual addiction. He definitely has, it's a trip because he has, I feel like he has a male and female sexual demons on him. Like, um, a lot of his temptations, um, I feel like is, this male demon is, is very, is the super sexual one, okay? The Jezebel spirit sexual demon that's on him is the feminine energy that is in him. That's when he wants to look like and feel like a woman, be treated like a woman type of thing but that's only with certain individuals this end of this person here has a lot of mental conflict um, and he definitely has a lot of temptations and sexual addictions okay yeah like i told you okay this person is into dressing up it's into cross dressing okay look and and this is the reason why they're he's moving on from this situation somebody is moving to calmer waters okay and I feel like it's him because we're talking about a king of cups here. And then this is at the end of that, the tower, we have the six of cups. So I feel like this is the cups energy that is moving on to calmer waters here. A very unhappy commitment. Okay, so this person that he's been living with, his at home person that he's been with has been a very unhappy commitment. He's been trying to figure out how to leave um, that situation for the longest, but in between that situation, he has been fooling with a lot of other individuals, okay? The next message we have here, guys, is um, lames playing games. So, this individual could be very lame. He could be into playing games. He, you know, very childish-like. Um, he could be a grown as adult, but acts like he's a teenager or something. Okay, just a lame playing game, Spirit is saying. Okay, especially with these temptations. I told you, he's a low down switch hit. He's a, uh, excuse me, a down low switch hidden brother. Okay, he's a down low switch hitting brother that likes to cross dress. Okay, he's also gay for pay. Okay. So he he has sex with 
other men. Um, the ones that's paying him is probably older men, probably businessmen. Um, he could be tied to some type of secret societies um, um, for him to have connections with businessmen. You know, um, they do a lot of those things in their initiation thingies or whatever. But, you know, he this is where a lot of his money is coming from, from, you know, doing sex magic, doing gay rituals, doing, you know, all type of things like that. OK. This person is saying, I know that I crossed the line with you. OK, so somebody that he actually really cares about that I feel like um, that he hasn't been with like that like they may have had sex together but i don't feel like they were ever in a relationship together he crossed the line with that person because he's lied he's deceived he's manipulated um he's done also this is a person i feel who has done is a part of some very sinister organizations um could be into black magic voodoo hoodoo hexes curses spells that type of a thing okay but he crossed the line um with somebody okay um, and lying about all the stuff that he's into, okay? Um, and he could have also crossed the line in other ways by doing things that, um, um, was, was very wrong and disrespectful, okay? Yet this person can't stop thinking about you. So there's this, there's somebody that's on this person's mind in the midst of all of this that he has going on. He can't stop thinking about somebody, but he knows that he crossed the line with this person and he knows that it's over. He knows that it's over. He don't want it to be over, but he knows that it's over because he crossed the line with the person, Okay. And the, the, the situation that he has going on at home with this person is, is actually an unhappy situation. He don't really want to be there or whatever. But I feel like this person has um, controls him, maybe beats him up, um, um, is violent towards him, hits him, um, pulls weapons on him, um, threatened to expose him um, in his sexuality. Which is just totally wrong to treat a person that way, okay? So this person has felt stuck in this situation. And because they feel stuck in this situation, they take their frustrations out on other people. But they're also, have, he has also become like super promiscuous, okay? It's different than a person being a freak and, and promiscuous, but with somebody that they like. They would be a freak for that person that they're with. They would be very promiscuous with the person that they're with, okay? This person, um, I feel like addiction's heightened because of the, the, the stuck situation he's in at home, okay? So when he leaves home, he hesitates at nothing with sleeping with anybody else, whether male or female, to get that, you know, whatever affection or attention from other people that he's not getting at home for from the person that he was with at home because the person that he's with at home is very abusive very controlling very narcissistic probably bipolar um and and very violent too okay but he is scared to death of his sexual escapades coming out okay especially with him uh, having sex with a younger person getting a younger person pregnant um especially when it comes to um him being with, you know, being in gay situations, getting paid to do gay things or whatever, which is his business. If that's what he likes and that's what pleases him and makes him happy, he's a full grown man. That is his business. Nobody has the right to try to shame you, blame you or put you down because of what fulfills you and makes you happy. OK, nobody has the right to abuse you in an effort to try to control you. But I feel like this person could have been married to this person as well um, and was controlling them or whatever. This person also has a outside baby mother who sent them through hell and high water too um, and tries to control him as well. This person also probably has a mother that controls every aspect of their life as well. So is there really a lot on this individual, but this, this person definitely is, is battling some temptations, some addictions, um, uh, probably drug use and abuse, 
of alcohol and drugs and things to cope with, with what they're dealing with, with what they're going through, with what they have to do um, to make extra money. Because I do feel that um, some of this gay for pay stuff, like he is aroused. By many different things but I feel like some of the gay for pay stuff sometimes it's things that he may not necessarily want to do and is forced to do um, but I feel like all of this is on this person stemming from childhood trauma I also feel if this person ever went to jail or prison um, that he was raped in jail as well or in prison as well okay um, so yeah, that's that's that situation, guys. Um, and let me get an extra. Hold on, guys. Let me get an extra message from Spirit, um, pertaining to that situation. Hold on, just a minute. Okay, and see if Spirit have any type of you know motivation to give this person pertaining to the situation. Ugh, that situation was really deep too. The one before it was sad. Ugh, okay, but let's see what this say. Okay, I don't think. Let me. Uh oh. Okay. Ooh. So we have resilience and we have fear. Okay. Um. So this person is, you know, feeling like, yeah, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have darkness here, okay? This person is in a very dark place in life, okay? This person is also into a lot of dark things with the people that they deal with, okay? I told you I felt like um, the people that he's in dealing with, him himself, are into some very dark and demonic things, um, doing sex magic, black magic, voodoo um, a lot of sinister different practices and things like that, okay? However, um, Spirit is coming through and with resilience here, okay? Um, this person has a lot of burdens on their back, okay? Um, at the end of the day, they're having to be resilient through the situation that they're going through because a lot of times, um, especially with dealing with their situation at home, this person ended up, ends up battered and bruised, Okay? Um, this person, um, uh, endures a lot, which is why they turn to drug use and alcoholism is why, um, you know, uh, they have this mental conflict and, you know, is, it falls deeper into this dark demonic stuff and the sexual addiction to, to try to fight off. And then we have fear here. We have resilience and we have fear. So this person is trying to be resilient through the situation that they're going through. They're trying to, you know, at least around others, act like that they're okay, that they're keeping a level head. But really when nobody's looking, nobody's paying attention, this person is like crying their eyes out. This person is like so sad and down and depressed and hurt. And yeah, but when in, in front of other people, um, you know, they try to put on the brave face and act like they're okay and everything is all right or whatever. There is fear here, too. We have fear because I believe that there is a fear of people finding out what he really likes, what he's really about, um, what he's done. Um, you know, and it's, it's really a lot, okay? It's, it's really a lot when it comes to this person, but they're... Is 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 it crazy for resilience and fear to be coupled together here? Okay, but he's trying to be resilient. If you all can see this card click clearly, you see this person that is hunched over and they're trying to move forward or walk forward, but they have like this. It looks like this huge bag or something on their back with all kinds of stuff in it that they're carrying, and it's a trip because it looks like snakes and spiders or something. It's also like flowing from the bag as well um that they're carrying they're they're carrying this big load of stuff on their back and they're trying to move forward so they're trying to be resilient and move forward yet you know they're stuck in this darkness here okay um nothing but darkness around them okay um and the drugs the alcohol doesn't help the situation okay um somebody could end up getting really hurt 
pertaining to the situation or even losing their life. Um, okay. But um, there's a lot of fear around this. I believe this person has a fear of being alone. I believe this person has a fear of um, people finding out their true sexuality um, and, and finding out, you know, what you know, really sinister things that they're really into and they like, okay, especially when speaking to um, paying for prostitutes, and we're not talking about pro holes here, we're talking about street holes, crack holes, okay, that um, is liable to be diseased and all kinds of things, okay, um, we're talking about um, um, being aroused by younger individuals i'm just going to say that um who knows how young it gets okay um but i definitely feel a situation of a younger person getting pregnant by this individual as well not to mention this individual having other children okay um dealing with a burdensome baby mother dealing with a, bur a burdensome transgender girlfriend dealing with a burdensome mother dealing with side piece women dealing with um uh, um uh the men that he's sleeping with that pays him the extra money um you know it, it, it's a lot okay they, this person is in a very dark place okay but at the same time trying to be resilient trying to move forward trying to keep their head up and and different things like that so mm, yeah Okay, guys, moving right along, child. I'm, I may take a break here, y'all, because I'm, I'm starting my my Thanksgiving meals as well, like all the stuff that you got to cook first. Um, I've already started. Hold on just a minute, guys. I got some... Let's stop this. Mixing up here, okay? Let me see. Okay, guys, I, I apologize for that. Matter of fact, y'all, just wait a minute. I don't want the world to just be in freaking silence. My next set, my next um person that I was going to do, their cards got mixed up. So just a minute, guys. Okay, sweetheart, I do apologize for that. Okay. So the next person we have here is the Queen of Swords. This is going to be Feminine Energy, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, okay? We also have the Hermit here. This person has been like in seclusion, closed off um, to themselves, really thinking and contemplating about some things, okay? And we also have the Six of Coins here, okay? So this person could be, have been thinking about some type of gift of generosity, trying to be, gen uh, thinking about being generous to someone, giving to someone, uh, reaching out to someone with a gift of generosity of some time. They have been in um, deep thought about this, contemplation about this, kind of um, closed off into themselves, um, really thinking and contemplating on this situation. But with the Six of Coins here, this talks about giving and receiving. So somebody could be giving to them just as much as they could be contemplating um being generous to someone else okay so let's just see what else is going on here okay well this person definitely is feeling like let's move in together okay so there's someone that is in this queen of swords of life and they're there they want them to move in together okay so this could be someone that this queen of swords has been dating um and this could be how they're feeling generous they want to open their home to someone like let's move in together you know um, let's share, you know, this space with one another, okay? Yeah, this person could have been in a relationship with somebody 
maybe there was a brief separation or a breakup, but this person is feeling like, hey, let's get back together, you know, not only let's move, you know, move back in, move in together, but let's get back together. Maybe they didn't live together at first, they were dating, they were talking or whatever, maybe there was an argument, they fell out or something, and, you know, they just, you know, separated with each other. This person has been thinking about this, contemplating about this, and wants to offer some type of generosity to this person and like, look, you know, look, let's move in together, okay? We need to get back together and let's move in together when we get back together, okay? Why does this person want to do this? Because this Queen of Swords is telling somebody, look, you are my lovey, my lover, homie, and friend, okay? So, like, let's just, let's stop tripping. Let's stop fighting. Let's stop arguing. You know, let's stop being in conflict with each other, okay? We need to, let's get back together, okay? And when we get back together, we need to move in together, too, okay? That way we don't have to worry about where each other at, what each other doing. Let's just do it. Let's just move in together, okay? And also, this, let me see. Yeah, also, this person is telling them, look, you are my, you, let's, you know, let's get back together. Let's move in together, okay? Why? Because you are my lover, homie, and friend, but also because I miss you, you know? This Aquarius is, uh, oh, I said Aquarius. Maybe this is specifically for an Aquarius, okay? Um, but it could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, okay? Um is missing somebody okay um this is the whoever this is this is their lover this is their homie this is their friend they laugh together they talk together they hung out together they had good times together but some there was some type of fallout some type of disagreement misunderstanding or just drifted apart a separation but this queen of swords is like look let's get back together let's 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 move in together okay yeah and look this Queen of Swords is probably going to send somebody a message and say all of this, okay? We have message here, okay? But somebody, I think the person that they are interested in, or maybe the, 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 I believe, the person that they're interested in, they want to send these messages to, feel like that this... Um, this person is lazy and crazy. So either this Queen of Swords... Feels like this other person is a little lazy and crazy. Or either this other person that they like, look, let's get back together. Let's move in together. They want to send these messages. I miss you. You know, this person is thinking this this queen of swords is lazy and she crazy. Okay? I Look, these ain't my words, honey. This is what come out in the messages. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Somebody gets butterflies. I feel like this is this queen of swords. Whoever it is that they like, that they want, that they miss, they get butterflies when they talk to this person, when they see this person, when they're around this person. They really kind of attracted to this person, okay? This also could talk about the monarch, okay? With the blood, the butterflies, okay, feeling dreamy. It could talk about feeling free, you know, or lighthearted. Um, it could talk about feeling dazed even, okay, or the feeling of one to just fly, fly away. But somebody gets butterflies. I feel like maybe this Queen of Swords, whoever it is that they really crush, uh, crushing on, that they missing, that they feel like is their lover, homie, friend. Um, you know, they get butterflies around this person, but this other person may feel like, mm, you look crazy <laughs> or whatever. And, and this person is also feeling like that this queen of swords is a little obsession, got some obsession with them. Okay. And this queen of swords is either has this obsession with them, or this could be what the other person is feeling like. This person is kind of obsessed. Like that could, you know, it could be something along those lines that caused them to to separate in the first place, you know? Look, and this person, this queen of swords is saying, because y'all not look, the queen of swords is cutthroat, is raw, okay? And gangsta in the way that they speak. You feel me? And liable to pop off and say anything at the mouth. Now look what the queen of swords is talking about. I wish I could take back my words. This is where she going to send this message to this person and say, look, I wish I could take back my, my words. I miss you. But this person like, girl, look, you crazy. You're crazy. And, and the Queen of Swords is going to tell them, look, I want to be more than friends with you. 
That's what they want. They want to take back the, the, the mean, cutthroat, hateful things that they said to this person because they miss them. This was their lover, homer, and friend, okay? So they're going to they're gonna send them a message and say, look, I take back my words. I apologize for what I said to you. You, I want to be more than friends. You're my homie, but I want to be more than friends with you, okay? And this person is saying, look, I bury myself in work to try to forget you, Okay? So this can be the other person that this Aquar this uh ooh, this Aquarius Libra or Gemini is thinking about, or this could be the Aquarius Libra or Gemini that feels this way. They're just doing their work. They trying to they trying their best to just go on with life. They've been this hermit, honey, but they've been thinking about this. They've been contemplating about this, and it's bothering them, honey. And this is what they came up with. They probably like, look, I need to send them this this message and tell them, look, you my homie, my friend, my lover. I miss you. Let's move in together. Let's get back together. I take back my words. I want to be more than friends with you, though. Okay, and I've been like working my butt off trying to forget you but i can't i miss you you know and look <laughs> this is probably why this person feel like they look crazy because one minute they cussing them out they going off they flying off the handle okay and everything in the next minute they like this it's just <laughs> they like this just being around you is intoxicating really you just cussed me out not too long ago. You literally just chucked something at my head just a minute ago. But being around me is intoxicating. This person feel like they crazy, y'all. <laughs> this person feel like they a little cuckoo for cuckoo puffs, y'all. Okay? This person feel like they a lonely tune, y'all. But I'm telling y'all what this Aquarius Libra Gemini is feeling. Peace. Look. Spirit is saying peace. <laughs> this 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 queen of swords want peace. Okay? Pertaining to a situation. This queen of swords wants peace. And that's what spirit is coming through and saying. Y'all need to find some type of peace within this situation. Okay? You know, stop the, you know, no more conflict, no more drama, no more BS. Y'all need to find a peaceful resolution to the situation at hand here. Okay, guys? All right, let's move right along. That is so funny. <laughs> the Aquarius, Aquariuses, honey, Libras, Gemini's, child, they will pop off. Child, they can have some filthy cutthroat mouths. They will let you have it, child. But then I come back loving like a mug, like, oh, but I just love you. <laughs> okay, guys, moving right along. So, the next message we have here is going to be for the King of Swords. This is going to be a masculine male um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, okay? So, we just did the Queen of Swords, honey. Let's see what's going on for the King of Swords, okay? What? The King of Swords, honey, he's doing his thing, child. The King of Swords, honey, he's been praying, hoping, wishing, dreaming, child. But he's definitely got a hope, wish, or dream that is coming true, that is being fulfilled for him, okay? Um, but it's, it's strange because this King of Swords got some type of mental conflict going on. This King of Swords could be losing sleep at night, can't sleep, got some insomnia going on, um, feeling anxious, um, you know, could be having some panic attacks, feeling nervous, uh, worried about a situation, but I and, but I'm I'm not sure why because spirit is seeing that they got a hope, wish, or dream come true, or whatever it is that they hope for or wish for. You know, be careful what you wish for, honey. Um, maybe what they wish for backfired on them. You know, maybe they was back behind the scenes doing some hocus pocus um type of stuff. And, you know, they wish for something, manifested something, but in spirit granted, they wish, honey. They have a hope, wish, or dream that's coming true for them. But for some reason, this king of swords is very anxious, okay? Um, like I said, it could be having some sleepless nights, is feeling worried, um, having some mental conflict over a situation. But spirit is saying, you got a hope, wish, or dream that is coming true, baby. So there's no need for you to worry um, what you hope for, what you wish for, what you dreamt of. It's going to come true, okay? And maybe this mental conflict is because um, 
this king of swords is unaware that their wish is going to come true for them and so they're just worrying about it when is it going to happen when is it going to take place when am i going to get what i want you know i've been praying about this for the longest i've been manifesting this for the longest i've been hoping wishing and dreaming for this for the longest i really want this and the, maybe the king of swords have no idea that his hope wish or dream has already been granted Okay, and is 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 coming to him. Okay, so let's see what this about. Okay, this King of Swords, honey, he is open minded sexually. Okay, I see you, King of Swords. This Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, he is definitely open minded sexually, honey. He has no problem with whoever he with, pleasing them to the fullest at all. He is very open minded sexually. Um, so it's all good in there. Yeah. When it comes to him, um, being open-minded sexually, he likes to love without limits. Okay. Um, this is going to have to be wild and crazy and outrageous type of thing. I'm not saying that a king of swords can't be committed with one person, but, um, you know, there's a lot of fulfillment and gratification, um, when it comes to the love, the passion, the romance, um, the sexual, um, physical aspects of the relationship as well, okay? Um, this king of swords, he is single and he is looking, and I believe that this is probably what he has been trying to manifest. This is what he has been making wishes about. This is what he has been hoping for, what he's been wishing for, you know, somebody that, um, is just as open-minded sexually as he is. Somebody who um, he can love without limits. Somebody he can give his all to. Um, somebody, you know, or whatever. And they, y'all be very fulfilled together. But he is very single, okay? And he is looking, okay, for his better half, his account apart. Spirit is coming through and telling you, with this wish coming through for you, King of Swords, abundance is yours. Abundance is definitely coming to you. There's no need for you to worry, baby. Um, Spirit is saying that they know that you are sexually frustrated. You, There's going to be no need for you to worry about that as well, because when you meet the one, honey, y'all going to be getting it on like Donkey Kong, okay? Um, and Spirit has said you have earned it, okay? So there's no need for you to have anxiety, for you to be having panic attacks, for you to be having sleepless nights, for you to be worrying, for you to be anxious, because your hope, wish, or dream is coming through for you, love. This person also feels like um, that whoever they're thinking of, they're thinking about um, this or, this Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini male, this King of Swords, feels like you speak to them through music, okay? So this person could be into music, um, you know, um, could work with music, could, could write music or perform music himself, um, or just have a natural connection to the arts or... Um, music and things like that like this person can listen to a song and 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 literally whoever they're interested in or attracted to or or thinking about or feeling it's like you're speaking to them through music that they hear through song that they hear so he could be listening to something and thinking about you and get really aroused okay or he could be listening to some type of music and be thinking about you and just like literally fall in love without even being there with you you know like whatever it is he could listen to certain in music and you know just have this 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 playful um i don't know type of aspect about it want to laugh want to dance you know the type of music you listen to over drinks or dancing together being a goofball together and stuff like that but whoever is on their mind definitely speaks to them through music okay he could be telepathically communicating with a soulmate that he has not come into contact with yet okay and that could be the reason that this is going on and happening and that could also be why he is so anxious okay because in the spiritual realm he is contact he is having um some type of communication or contact with this person that in the physical um 
in the earthly realm, he has not met yet. He has not come one with yet. And this is what he's been hoping and wishing and dreaming about, okay? And this is what he is anxious about, okay? And he is definitely, he definitely wants you. He is saying, I want you. This king of swords wants somebody, honey. Somebody that speaks to him telepathically through music, okay? Okay. So, let's see what other messages i mean i feel like enough said with that situation right there but let's see um what other message yeah look at this beauty okay i feel like he is a beautiful person it's probably not like politically correct or something if that's the right phrase to call a man beautiful but i feel like he could probably be a very beautiful person inside and out he could have a very beautiful heart um, type of individual, but he could also feel like that you are very beautiful, okay? Um, y'all may not have even met, okay? But this person, like, really wants you, okay? More than just sexually, too, okay? This person is, like, really into you, okay? Um, and probably has never... Um, and it doesn't mean that other attractive people haven't been in this person's life. It definitely doesn't mean that this person haven't had sex with anybody else or, or something like that. He's a king. Of course he has. Um, but he's probably never had the connection with somebody else that he has um, with the person that he is thinking about, the person that he is wanting. He's probably never had that spiritual connection with somebody, that um, intellectual type of connection with somebody. Maybe he's never had that, um, that telepathic type of connection with somebody that really arouses him, turns him on, like really makes them, him want them. Um, somebody that speaks to him through music, you know, maybe he's never tapped into that type of thing before. But anyway, this is a very beautiful situation, okay? Um, he probably feels like you are beautiful inside and out. He could be a beautiful person inside and out, honey. But yeah, that is what Spirit is saying uh, pertaining to this situation with the King of Swords here. So that's cute. So, um, Mr. King of Swords, honey, you don't have anything to worry about. Spirit is saying your hopes, wishes, and dreams are going to come true, child. And perhaps you won't be single for long. If that's what you've been dreaming about. If that's what you've been wishing for, okay? I just hope you on the up and up with it, though, okay? So, the next messages we have here is going to be for a Queen of Wands, okay? This is a feminine energy here. Um, this is someone who is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, um, female here. Um, I feel like this Queen of Wands here is taking some type of leap of faith towards something with the Fool here, okay? Um, you know, you could be general kind of practical about it and say oh this queen of wands is being very foolish in a situation doing some foolish type of things or whatever but the the the, the fool card if you see this person here this person uh -oh, this person has his bags packed and he's looking back at home he's leaving home okay so it's almost give you the sense that like this person is leaving trying to leave or trying to run away um, to a, a different place or something, okay? But this person has definitely made the conscientious decision that they are going to take some type of leap of faith um, pertaining to a situation, okay? And I feel like the reason... Um, hold on, guys. I dropped one of their cards. I feel like the reason why this Queen of Wands is taking this leap of faith has to do something with some type of judgment being made. There's some type of judgment or decision or ruling or order or something that has been made. Um, and this Queen of Wands could be running for the border, honey. Could be uh, trying to escape, get away, leaving, traveling, doing something very foolish. Okay, but this person could be taking a leap in faith in something as well. Um, and it, it, it has to do with, um, this could be a legal matter or, or something that is happening that is going on. Um, but there's some type of decision, a judgment that has been made. 
Um, you see all these people here um, making this judgment, making this, or looking at this judgment that is being made, this ruling, this order that has been um, put into effect, okay? And this Queen of Wands here, she like, you know, she trying to sneak away. You see how she creepily sneaking off with the food card here and she's looking back at the house here um there's something that has went on okay and this queen of wands is taking some type of actions movement forward um some type of leap of faith and pertaining to a um to a situation okay Okay, so the extra messages that we have here pertaining to this situation, we have stuck, staying together for the sake of the kids, okay? So this person could feel stuck to a situation, a relationship, or a situation that they are in. They're feeling stuck, they're feeling bound, feeling tied, feeling like, um, you know, they can't leave, they can't move, they can't do anything, uh, or or something, um, but this could be what they're they're taking a leap of faith in. Okay, even though they're feeling stuck, um, even though this is what they were doing, staying together um, with whoever they're dealing with, perhaps they're 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 making um, this leap of faith towards something because of some judgment or decision that has been made. Okay, um, they're trying to take things slow, or they have been taking things slow. But I feel like, you know, they've made their decision on what they're going to do. Um, uh, th these individuals could have a blended family, okay? So this could be somebody who is married. Um, possibly this queen of wands has children, and the person that she's in a relationship with has children as well. Thus, they have a blended family. Um, but I feel like that there there could be some type of legal matter that is going on, that there's some type of judgment or decision or ruling or order that has taken place um, pertaining to a situation, okay? Um, and the first card we got was stuck. Okay, that was the main energy that came through with that. This person feeling stuck. But you see here on the food card, her just like like she she's trying to sneak away or creep away in some type of way. Okay. There could have been a breakup. She was she could have been feeling stuck in a situation, tied or bound to a situation. But with her taking this leap of faith, she's probably gonna try to, you know, literally, like I said, make a run for it, you know, run for the border, leave. Um, you know, taking off somewhere else or whatever and could be leaving this situation that she's been in and there being a breakup, okay? Um, so then we have side piece, okay? So this person could, the person that they're dealing with could have had a side piece or they could have a side piece that lives elsewhere, out of state, out of town, okay? But, and this could be the leap of faith that they're taking, Something something pertaining to um, a judgment, a decision, or a law, a uh, 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 matter, something, okay? Um, and this person is trying to get away from the situation. They could be leaving a stuck situation that they've been in with this breakup. Um, they're ta they could been, have been taking things slow with this side piece that they've been talking to and dealing with probably in secret, okay? Yeah, this person, yeah, that's what this fool about. This person is trying to sneak off. This person is trying to sneak off and leave because it's a moving on to new possibilities, okay? So this person is definitely trying to creep away from the situation that they're currently in and dealing with. Um, and yeah, they're, they're trying to get away. Um, they they you know they don't want to be in this stuck situation anymore. So there's a breakup. Okay, um, they've been taking things slow with this side piece um, that is at a distance from them. Okay, um, and this this you know with this this blended family could be either in the situation they were already in or with the situation with the side piece. Either way it go, this person is trying to sneak off with this fool card here. Trying to sneak off, leave, travel, um, move. Sneak away, creep away, uh, you know, run for the border, um, get overseas or something somewhere. They're trying to move on in a hurry to new possibilities, okay? 
Um, this person plays somebody's conversations over and over again. So this person has had conversations with somebody and played those conversations over and over again. They could be constantly thinking about the, uh, somebody that could be the side piece um, that they're, they're, they finally decided to take a leap of faith and move towards to get out of the situation that they've currently been in. Um, and th this Queen of Wands has also... Um, saying, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So, you know, whatever it is that they've been dealing with, that they've been going through or enduring in their current situation, um, you know, they just kind of telling themselves that they're feeling grateful for whatever, you know, spiritual situation. We got darkness and fear that came up again, okay? So, yeah, there, there's some dark, very dark, sinister demonic even energy pertaining to the situation there could be fear um surrounding some type of judgment or decision or ruling court ruling or order um law abounding order or something that has been made okay um we also have the path here okay which is quite interesting with the with the the full card here okay because it literally looks like he's walking towards you know you know creeping away like he's tiptoeing away and he's got his knapsack type of thing his bags packed and he's looking back towards home and he's trying to creep away without anybody else seeing him okay with the path card here if you all could see this there's this like this um this ladder and there's this circle right here which looks like a portal a portal over to um, another area, another world, um, this person, and then it's across water, across a big forest, a lot of tree, mountain type of area. This person is trying to take off somewhere, okay? Um, possibly somewhere that's far away, okay? Okay, or either it's going somewhere, going to be taken somewhere like that, but there is fear, Pertaining to this situation, there's a lot of darkness um, pertaining to this situation as well. And the interesting thing about this, guys, that when, when judgment came out, when I pulled the extra energy here, the judgment came out, which let us know that there's some type of decision, ruling, order, um, uh, judgment of some kind that has been made okay the the chariot was at the bottom of the deck okay the chariot talks about leaving traveling transportation it also can speak to um like police or something like that or whatever so when looking at the like something is going on here and this person is trying to leave trying to travel trying to get the hell away or this judgment that has been made could be like the police showing up and taking them away or something like it's crazy it's that that little situation is crazy okay but I, I really feel like that, like, it's multiple things going on. But I feel like this person um, has been feeling stuck, but, like, made up their mind that they were going to try to sneak away, um, uh, to get away or, you know, run off somewhere else or something. It's crazy. Okay, guys. So, the next message we have here is going to be for the King of Coins, okay? Now, the King of Coins is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is a masculine male energy here. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, okay? We have the Magician here. So, I feel like this King of Coins, he's definitely into um, black magic, voodoo, practices he's definitely into the dark arts the witchcraft okay he's been doing some type of hocus pocus um magic he's been conjuring up some things manifesting some things um i feel like he's been casting um love spells binding spells other type of spells on um individuals okay but he's definitely a warlock okay look at him you see him sitting here with his staff okay and don't you see the magician sitting here with their staff? He is a warlock, okay? And a warlock is nothing but, like, a, a witch, essentially. It's a male witch, okay? Um, yeah, 
he's been casting some type of curses, some type of spells against someone. Or he, he he's doing this in order to manifest or to get what he wants out of a situation. However, I don't feel like the magic that he's been doing is working or it's backfiring or it's coming back to him or something is not going the way that he wants it to go. Because if you see him here, he looks like he's looking down. He's just kind of looking away. Although he still has his staff up, which means he's still, you know, doing this black magic voodoo um, practices here. You Again, you see him with the head down. He's looking kind of bored here. He's still holding the staff. You see him twirling his little, little crystal ball type of thing here. And he's steady, you know dibbling and dabbling with his magic but he's sitting here looking like in boredom under the moon here which talks about illusions okay he's not getting the fulfillment out of this magic that he's doing the way he wants okay and then we have the temperance okay he is pissed off by this he is very angry but he's trying to keep himself tempered he's trying to stay patient and calm pertaining to the situation because it is really pissing him off like look how monstrous this card looks okay he is really pissed off he is like about to turn into beast mode okay because the magic that he has conjured up is not working the way he wants it to and he sees he's been patient he's been calm he's you know trying to be well as practical as one can be when you're doing when you are a wicked witch and you're doing <laughs> black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, hexes, curses, spells on people just to get what you want, okay? Um, you are working against other people's free will and things or whatever. But he is like mad as hell because um, his magic is not working um, as fast as he wanted to. And I feel like... Um, this person, he did a love spell. He's done a lot of things. Like, this person has done magic on some someone to keep other people from... He's done multiple kinds of magic. He did a love spell with someone, specifically I hear, okay? This love spell was not only to keep the person that he's interested in from having sex with other people but to keep people away from that person too. This person is doing things like tapping into this person's dreams. Like um, this person is, is, is like doing other things to invade and violate this person. Um, hacking them, tracking them, um, you know, uh, uh, secretly watching them, invading their privacy, um, stalking them, harassing them, all illegal crap that they're doing on top of of the black magic and and, and voodoo and things that they're doing and they're doing th he's doing this because he he has wanted this person that he's doing this magic against not to have nothing and nobody but to be sitting and waiting for this individual okay and this is what he's been trying to manifest let's get married okay so he is doing this to take away somebody else's free will, but he wants to then come in, you know, almost like this knight in shining armor and like, oh, I'm everything that you hope for and wish for and need. Let's get married. Okay. Next message we have here is a random unexpected partner by pure chance. So didn't I say this guy just wanted to pop up out of nowhere one day on this individual? I feel like the person that he's doing this to don't even know him. Okay, this is a stalker. This is somebody at a distance behind the scenes. Okay, um, that is not aware of this person at all. But this person will appear one day, you know, travel to this person or something and just pop up wherever this person is at, at work, at a store or something, and just make it seem like, oh, they met by pure chance. But this person's been watching you and stalking you and harassing you and legally invading and violating you all alone. Been doing black magic and voodoo and, and, and things on you. And do you honestly think if you got with this person that they would stop? That their practices no they will still be doing it and you wouldn't even know that they would be doing it because you are not even aware of this person and that they were even doing they're even doing this to you 
this is crazy but the crazy thing about this y'all is so sinister and so twisted how he's going about doing this but spirit is coming through and saying true love with soulmate so i feel like he could be tapped into some other energy i feel like this is somebody who is into the occult okay um who is obviously into some demonic practices um, this is somebody who has probably stolen your birth chart, has studied you and everything. And with their birth chart, their genes, and studying you, they know that you all would be soulmates. Okay? Whoever he's doing this to, he has found out that you are his, he would be his divine partner. And he your divine partner. Okay? So he's decided to use magic. To bring you all closer together. But this is pissing him off. Because it's not manifesting the way he wants it to. But, uh, you know, I'm sorry guys. But love love spells, love magic never goes quite the way you want it to go. Okay? I don't understand why people do that crap. Nevertheless, how sinister this is. He is an earth sign. So this is somebody who is grounded, stable, and secure. Okay, this is somebody who has his finances in order. He's in the upright, so he has his finances in order. This could be a business leader. Um, um, this could be somebody in power, but he is definitely wealthy. Okay, um, personally, I don't feel like money is everything. Just because, I mean, nobody should be wanting after the person with the fattest wallet anyway, or the person who is the most handsome and the most attractive. Just because a person has a lot of, first of all, what you need to understand is that's their money, not your money. Just because somebody has money does not mean they're going to give it to you. Number one. Okay? Number two, just because a person has money does not mean that they are going to love you and appreciate you and you know be passionate and romantic with you and actually want you and only you because if they're that wealthy they could literally have anybody that they want and they probably have people throwing themselves at them you understand what i'm saying so you women need to stop chasing after the man with the fattest wallet and thinking just because you see a man who is fine to death who is drop dead gorgeous driving a nice car dressed good smelling good and got a fat wallet that you know he gonna give you everything he got and be your knight in shining oh, I'm gonna sweep you off your feet and cater to you for the rest of your life honey that's like not how that go okay that's not how it goes okay and it's, it's, it's a lovely if you lucky enough to to meet somebody like that and you have this fairy tale uh whirlwind romance okay but yeah that's not real life that doesn't that happens for some people that does not happen for everyone okay um there's a lot of wealthy women right now who married into wealth okay because their husbands are very wealthy and powerful they are wealthy but a lot of them are stone cold drunks are popping pills every day why because they're always lonely to cope okay there, a lot of times they are abused. They get used as sex slaves. They're stuck in the house. They're, you know, they go through all type of unfortunate things. And I'm not saying those things to put those women down because look, they endure a lot. Okay, they put up with a lot of shit. Okay, um, but I'm telling you, everybody with money does not guarantee you that this is going to be a successful relationship. Okay, you can have somebody who will buy you the world and beat your ass to a pulp every single day. Okay, <clears throat> so y'all stop chasing after a person with the fattest wallet, okay? Because the things that really matter in life don't cost a thing. Love don't cost nothing. Friendship don't cost nothing. True, unconditional love, passion, romance don't cost nothing. The most important things in the world don't cost a damn dime, okay? And that those are things that you cannot put a price on. Okay, a person that's going to love you to do thick and thin unconditionally. Okay, no matter what your flaws are, no matter, you know, you don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect type of thing. You can't put a price on that. Okay. 
And sure, you can parade around and, and look the best you want to look. How you can run into somebody with a lot of money that'll pay for you a nice big uh, a set of boobs. And, and, and you can go get your butt pumped up real freaking nice. And go get all the fat sucked out your stomach, okay? And buy you the perfect damn teeth, okay? And get you um, um, human eyelashes put in. And, and, and the most expensive human hair put in. Brazilian, you know, or whatever. So you for you to look. And you can get all kind of plastic surgery and any other damn things that y'all want to get. Okay, to please and appease certain individuals, okay, and it's not going to guarantee you success in that relationship, okay, because anybody that wealthy and that well off, they, look, let me tell you something, people who are attractive, who are very attractive and know that they are attractive, they know that they can be with anybody that they want to because damn near everybody that looks at them, even people of the opposite sex has to admit that they look good as hell, okay. People who are very wealthy know that they are very wealthy, okay? And they can they can buy any damn thing that they want, okay? They can have any damn thing that they want, okay? So you should not be running up and behind somebody who is the finest and the, the most beautiful and the most handsome and the most and, and it has got the most money, okay? Because that's not gonna guarantee you that you are going to have love in your life. I care about the things that don't cost nothing at all. It's a shame. I I I I I I am not well off, okay? I make the bare minimum or whatever, but I haven't been without anything in my life. But the things that do not cost anything, I have never had. Never in life. The most important things in life that do not cost anything at all, I have never had. And those are the very things that people look over every freaking day. Okay? Because you will smooth look. There's a lot of women who will smooth look over. Um, say, you will smooth look over the guy that, that is the de delivery driver for Amazon um, making a, a decent wage, okay? Who treats you like a queen for the man who is a multi-millionaire or billionaire, who is drop-dead gorgeous or, or handsome or your favorite celebrity. You would smooth look over the delivery driver from Amazon making $10, $20 an hour for somebody who is a multi-millionaire or billionaire, businessman or celebrity or something, just because he got more, just because you think he's more handsome. And what's the likelihood that he's going to love you? What's the likelihood that he's going to treat you like a queen? What's the likelihood of that? Nobody thinks about that. I think about that type of shit, okay? So anyway, anyway, guys, so he says, let's get married. Um, this is going to, this is a random, unexpected um, uh, partner by pure chance. And this is going to be true love with a soulmate. But I'm telling you, in order to make this happen, this guy has been doing some type of black magic and voodoo or something behind the scenes. He is definitely into the dark arts. He's in the occult. He could be the he could be a, a Freemason or part of another secret society like Skull and Bones. Um or or some other secret society, okay? Um he could be an elite individual with him being a king of coins and he's in the upright. He could be elite. Like I said, he could be secret society. Um, but he, he, he definitely has ties to the occult. Okay. And he definitely does, um, uh, black magic, uh, witchcraft, sorcery type of practices often. Okay. And this is what he is using to bring in this relationship that he wants, this marriage that he wants with this, this, this true love that he wants with this soulmate. Okay. Spirit is coming through and saying that, you know, whoever this is with, it is unconditional love. There's going to be a close bond. There's going to be a love forever. It says true love. Okay. Um, also, spirit is coming through and saying, go for it and take that leap of faith. So if, if you are the person that he is manifesting um, and bringing in, spirit is telling you to, to go for it and take that leap of faith. Okay. 
um, that's up to you if you want to do so. Um, but if so, there's going to be a new beginning. There's going to be a fresh start. Um, if you follow your heart, okay, there's going to be a bright future ahead of you, okay? Um, all is well and we'll be fine. Spirit is saying no need for you to worry. You see the sun out. You see the flowers blooming. This could be something that takes place in the summertime. Um, but it could be, it could happen before then, okay? Um, we are in the cuddle season, honey. So, you know, this could happen before then, okay? Um, maybe, you know, by the time the summer comes, you know, y'all could be deeply in love, married, or whatever. But you want to be careful that you are not under a spell. Because somebody this powerful, somebody that is elite, that is wealthy, that is in secret societies, that is a part of the cult, uh, um, excuse me, a cult, he could be in a cult, um, and, and, and is a magician like this, you hear me, uh, yeah, he could have your ass smooth in a trance, okay, um, you could be under a spell, you can thank you in love, you didn't met the love of your life, you in, you under a trance, and he got you under full-blown mind control, okay, child, please, look, this person say they look for you everywhere. Whoever this is that they are they they are manifesting in that they're doing this magic to have, they look for this person everywhere. But I feel like this person does not even know him. Okay? But this person say that you were the best thing in my life. Okay? So maybe y'all met each other. Maybe y'all were together. Maybe you were buddies with this person at one time. You know, or something. And this person has literally had this fetish for you or something. Um, and, you know, he is stopping at nothing, honey. Manifesting, doing what he had to do, child, to have you. Yep, look, girl, he the masculine child. He is the divine masculine, but baby. Baby. <laughs> look. He got some money and some power. You understand me? You better be careful. You better know what you're getting yourself into. He got some money. He got some power. And he is very powerful with, with, with his sorcery. Okay? You better be careful. Okay? But he's very grounded. He's stable. He's secure. Okay? Spirit is saying is it could be unconditional love, marriage, uh, true love with a soulmate. Um, you know, take that leap of faith. This is going to be uh, a pure connection or by, you know, by pure chance. Um, you know, everything. Okay. But this is your masculine spirit is saying. Spirit is saying this, honey. But he has used magic to, to manifest you in. Yeah. And look, look what is at the bottom of the deck. Extremes. <laughs> you think? He has gone to the extremes to manifest you in. Okay, honey. Child, please. Baby. He done did all kinds of witchcraft. And this is why he upset. This is the reason why he having to be tempered about this situation. Because this man been working on this for a long time. Do you hear me? He has been working on this for a long time. Trying to manifest you in, honey. He doing all kinds of hocus pocus magic. Honey, he probably talking to the brotherhood about you. He wants you so bad, child. He trying to figure out how to get you, child. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I ain't the one that gossip, so you ain't hear anything from me, child. But you better make sure your ass is wide the hell awake and you ain't under a damn spell when this hair go down, baby. Mm-mm. Mercy. Okay, y'all. We have one more. Um, I actually got an extra one by chance. If you all have noticed, um, I'm only working in queen and king energy of all the signs, okay? But um, I accidentally end up pulling for a night, so um, I felt like this message needed to come out, but we're going to do this one first. Um, we have the queen of cups here, okay? This is going to be divine feminine female here um pisces cancer or scorpio individual okay 
we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I definitely feel like that this wheel is turning for the better, okay? There are some major, <clears throat> excuse me, there are some major changes that is happening in this Queen of Cups life, okay? This Wheel of Fortune is turning, okay? And like I said, this wheel is turning for the good, okay? So this could have to do with love, romance, passion, work, career, home, family, this will is turning for the better in many different ways, okay? And because this will is turning, um, it is giving this Queen of Cups the motivation and the determination to move forward here with this Three of, of Wands here, okay? This, with the Three of Wands here, um, with this motivation, look, with this will turning, in the favor of the Queen of Cups, honey, this is the opportunity of a lifetime that the Queen of Cups has probably never had. Okay, and it is say, and she is taking this opportunity to move forward fast, quick, and in a hurry. Did you understand me? This was all the motivation and determination that she needed to to take that leap of faith. And even though this is not, you know, any other cards here that says that, but the motivation talks about that. Motivation is um, motivation to move forward, to start something new, to have new beginnings, um, fresh starts, <clears throat> excuse me, all kind of very great, wonderful, beautiful things, okay? But this Wheel of Fortune is turning in the favor of this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio individual female here, um, and it's definitely bringing her much needed motivation that she needed to move forward here. Um, now with these extra messages, guys, okay, because I feel like this is going to be for a water sign individual who has, um, been pretty much to herself, okay? This is somebody who has not been dating anybody, um, this is someone who has little to no friends at all, um, someone who is a loner, um, somebody who literally just take care of what they need to take care of from day to day, do the work they need to do, pay their bills. If they're not at work, they're at home, okay? If they do get out, they're doing something with um, their child. If they have a child or if this is a single person who do not have children, this person is literally like in hermit mode all the time. Either they're working or they're at home, okay? Um... But the, the Queen of Cups, it could be, like I said, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Not everybody is living that lifestyle. You know, there's plenty of people in the world who have friends, who have family, um, who have a lover or a partner, um, you know, or, or something, okay? For those of you, I will say this, for those of you who are um, very active and outgoing in your life, you have plenty of friends, plenty of family, you're in a relationship already, um, this will is still turning for you, okay? So, um, you could be getting a raise on the job. You could be um, moving or something. You could be, you know, getting a new home or something. You could be, you know, something is taking a turn for the better. Perhaps you are already in a relationship. Your, par your partner, your person is going to propose, okay? But this will is definitely turning. Um, in your favor towards something. But I feel like I'm speaking to the person who has been celibate, who has been in loner, who is by themselves, who is reclusive, who doesn't have any friends, who doesn't have any family like myself. Um, you know, who have been in hermit mode and just really kind of felt down and, and, and stuck and, you know, unhappy, unfulfilling situations. This will is finally turning. This will, and this is a beautiful thing because this will has felt like it has been stuck. Not only the will, you know, the will and the world turns, okay? But it feels like the will and the world has been stuck in one position, okay? And, you know, I feel like Mary J. Blige right about now, it's been a bad five years. You understand me? Um, but this will is finally turning. Do you understand me? And child, please, this is all the motivation and determination that this Queen of Cups needed, baby. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, like I was saying, pertaining to these other messages, I feel like these are messages to this person instead of messages from this person, from this Queen of Cups. Somebody, 
that is interested in this Queen of Cups is saying, I love you so much, okay? I don't feel like this Queen of Cups is aware of this. I don't feel like this Queen of Cups is telling somebody else this. I feel like somebody is telling this Queen of Cups this at some point in time. I love you so much. Um, why do I feel like this? Because somebody is asking this Queen of Cups, may I get to know you better? Okay? Somebody is going to come into this Queen of Cups life that is already in love with this Queen of Cups. Perhaps an individual that has been watching this Queen of Cups from a distance. This, like I said, this will turns in many different ways. A lot of times when you hear will of fortune, people automatically assume finances, money, resources, material things. Yes, those things could be taking place because like I said, this will of fortune turns for many different things in life, many different factors and aspects of life. But somebody is coming into this queen of cups life and is already in love with them and saying, I love you so much okay may i get to know you better somebody wants to get to know you okay okay somebody um may even offer you a family vacation a trip or something somewhere or this queen of cups could be taking a family vacation um you know maybe with uh, you and your children or for those of you who have family like that, maybe you and your family are going on a trip or a cruise of some kind or something like that or whatever. But I definitely feel like that there, you know, there could be a family vacation. You know, um, if you're the loner type, um, you could be taking a, a vacation by yourself just to get away, just to relax. Um if you are coupled, you could be going on this vacation with your lover. If, um, like I said, family vacation, you could be going as a family. You know how groups of family, you know how you can get cheaper rates with, say, like a cruise or something like that with the more people that go or something? Y'all could be doing something like that. You know, if I don't, you know, I don't have family and friends to, to do stuff like that but I know there's people in the world that do do awesome stuff like that and have that kind of stuff that goes on so that could be your situation okay nevertheless spirit has some extra messages here this will that is turning is going to bring you stability okay this is going to be um this talks about savings you're going to be able to save you're going to be able to budget more freely um you but you're going to have balance you're going to have financial stability security you're going to be grounded okay um and you're just going to be stable stable in love stable in finances stable in in, in money resources stable in life okay this stability will fall in several different areas of life okay you are going to have financial freedom okay so this stability will bring you financial freedom as well, okay? Very beautiful. And see, this is what I'm talking about. If you are the person that's a loner and you are meeting somebody new that literally acts like that they are in love with you at first sight and like they love you so much or they end up telling you this not long after you all start talking or communicating or hanging out, the person that comes in and is like, can they get to know you better, okay? Okay? This person is going to offer you some type of vacation, like offer to pay for you to take a vacation or something. Because next we have here, invitation for a special occasion, okay? So somebody could be giving you an invitation for a special occasion. And that could be reason why we got family vacation. Okay, so very beautiful indeed, okay? The extra messages we have here, yes, yeah, somebody is coming into your life and they're going to show up literally and be like, I am so attracted to you, okay? They also want to be like, I love you so much, okay? Somebody wants to tell you that they are not only so attracted to you, but they love you so freaking much, okay? 
You know, you've probably been sitting around waiting on that forever, but child spirit is saying it's coming. And look, this person is telling, they want to tell you how they feel. I feel like this person has been behind the scenes, like holding this in for like the longest. But they want to come in and tell you that they are attracted to you, that they love you so much, that they want to know you better. Like, you know... So, like, this will is turning, honey, and some beautiful things are happening. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, we got messages that flew all over the place. Hold on. Okay, guys. So, we have, we have a few different things here, okay? So, we have something called... I believe it's fruitition, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. You have this lady here, and she has, like... All this fruit on her head. I feel like um, you are very going to be very fruitful in life with this will of fortune turning in your favor. Okay. Um, we also have nourishment. Okay. So you could be eating more fruits. You could be eating healthier as well. Um, you could be getting toned up, fit. Um, you know, very, being very um, nourishing to yourself and to your body, okay? Um, we also have fear here. You know, there could be a little bit of fear with this wheel turning. This this is like, I feel like, I mean, I'm, I'm a water sign myself, okay? So, <laughs> all of this sounds good, you know what I'm saying? It sounds almost a little bit too good to be true. And you know the saying, if they say if it, if it sounds too good to be true, maybe it is or whatever. So, but with this will of fortune turning, like this will is turning in a way that it has never turned before, which could be kind of scary, you know, um, for anybody, especially for, you know, a person like myself, a water sign like myself who is a loner, um, who is used to, you know, basically dealing with the nothings of life and um um just making it with the bare minimum you know you you learn to deal with that and and you know you may not be happy in that but you get a routine and you so when when the will gets a turning you know and you're talking about passion and love and romance and instability and 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 financial freedom and vacations and invitations and all kinds of things coming in it can seem overwhelming it can seem very frightful you know you don't want to fail you don't want to fall you don't want to be hurt you don't want to be misled you know a million different things can cross your mind or whatever um you know especially when you're somebody who have endured like so much um but we have action here so you're definitely going to to take action and 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 move forward with this this is going to bring you the motivation to move forward okay you're going to take action okay because this has been a long time coming at the end of the day life is short okay you have it but one life to live and really and truly if you are a full grown adult and you have lived to be however old you are. There's no use in going through life, living life, being afraid. Um, you know, of, of, of change, of, of new things in life and different things like that. Um, you know, life is just going to happen. You're going to have gratitude. Okay. You're going to be resilient. And, and you know, what you are, you know, all of these things that are taking place, you're going to be very resilient in everything that you do you're going to be meeting your masculine here there is going to be pleasure there is going to be abundance there is going to be blossoming yeah and i'm doing the extra honey because i am a water sign and i want to know all of the tea child because i am the tea so i can do it like that for my water signs okay um yeah like all of these yes and beauty okay i feel like somebody is going to be getting a makeover you're going to be very beautiful you're already very beautiful okay um yeah beauty like seriously seriously like these are these this is some beautiful look balance you're going to be balanced okay 
somebody is going to get an opportunity of lifetime. You could be dealing with powerful people. You could be um, getting a position of power, okay? You definitely are going to be keeping the faith here with the faith card, okay? You're going to be using discernment. Okay, you are strong willed, strong minded, honey. And with the path here, you are walking smooth through that portal in that order. Okay, okay, so that's what is going on, honey, for this um, this Queen of Cups here. That is very beautiful, okay. So, guys, that really concludes the reading for all the signs for all my kings and all my queens. Um, like I said, I accidentally pulled for another sign, and I just took it as a sign from spirit that um, somebody needed this message to get out. So, we have one more here, okay, that we're going to go through. We have here a Knight of Swords, okay? And so, like I said, this reading was for the kings and the queens, okay? But this one ended up coming out, and I ended up accidentally doing a reading for him. So, I feel like there is a knight of swords here who um, maybe needs to hear this, okay? This knight of swords is, um, is coming out as an emperor, okay? So, he is probably a father, okay? Because the knight of swords is just a little bit younger. He could, you know... Um, be a boss of some kind, depending on um, what kind of work he do or whatever. But I feel like he's a father, okay? The emperor is somebody who is a father. It could be somebody who is a boss, somebody who is in charge, somebody who is an authority. But, um, you know, it could be. He, he could be in power like that or whatever. But, you know, I definitely feel like he's a, um, a father, okay? Either way, this individual, this Knight of Swords person, um, this Emperor, okay, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, he is in business, he does something, okay, um, where he has some type of power or authority or something in business, and he wants this partnership with somebody, he's wanting some type of relationship or partnership with someone this could do this could be romantic or this could be pertaining to business but he is definitely and he's looking directly towards this okay um he is wanting to move forward he is some type of business owner um uh, entrepreneur um uh, somebody in power, somebody in authority, okay? He has some type of business or business venture or something that he wants to be in partnership with someone to do, okay? And But he's in this hangman position here. Um, he's been hanging around. He's been waiting for, on something to happen, um, to take place um, pertaining to this partnership, okay? I feel like the reason why he's hung in suspicion and he's been hanging around, um is because he's been in recovery, okay? Um, this person could have some addictions, but I feel like he has been in recovery of some kind here with the Four of Swords. He's been re recovering from something, um, like a, a, a past situation or relationships or partnerships or dealings with other people, or he has literally been in recovery like um if he got injured or hurt he could have been in the hospital recovering um if if this is due to substance abuse or alcoholism he could have been in rehab or something but he has definitely been in recovery he wants this partnership with somebody though but um he's been in this hangman position because of something he had to recover from he was in recovery okay this person wants to take you out on a date, okay? Whoever this person, whoever he wants this partnership with, he wants to take you out on the date and discuss this with you, okay? He is saying that he only has eyes for you. So whether this is in a business sense, um, you know, like say this is somebody in the industry, okay? And this is somebody who like talent scouts and, you know, see people all the time with all different types of talent, skills, and abilities. He would be saying, 
you know, he wants to be in partnership with you or work with you in some kind of way. And he only has eyes for you. Like there's a lot of talented people out here, but he is very interested in working with you. Now, in a relationship sense, okay, um, he could want a, you know, a, a, a love relationship with somebody as well. Because when talking about a partnership, um, that can go either way. That could be business-wise or that could be love relationship-wise. And since we got the card where he wants to take you out on a date and he only has eyes for you, it is very much possible that he is interested in a love relationship with somebody, okay? Um, yeah, he is coming through and saying that you fulfill my every desire. So whomever this is that he's been thinking about, that he's interested in, um, that he has eyes for this person. He looks at this person. He's been like literally watching this person and everything going on. And he feels like, you know, he only has eyes for you. You fulfill every desire that he freaking has. Okay. And he wants to take you out on a date. Okay. This person dressed nice. He smells good and he feels good, honey. Okay. I hear you, Mr. Knight of Swords. But, I need y'all to understand, honey, this is probably why he was in recovery. Look, he violent when he get drunk. This is why he was in recorded. He was in rehab. He violent, he gets violent when he gets drunk. Okay? That doesn't necessarily have to make him a, a bad person. He could be a very loving, caring person. He could be a halfway decent person when he ain't drunk. But when he drunk, he gonna act a whole plum fool, okay? But this person likes you, okay? He likes you. Um, he also likes role playing in the bedroom, okay? So you know, role playing can go into a lot of different things, honey. You gotta be open minded like that to to you know get into that type of thing. But if you are, he definitely is. So he likes to role play. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Um, but Spirit is telling you to protect your heart. Spirit is either telling him to protect his heart or Spirit is telling the person that he's interested in to protect their heart, okay? Um, you want to be very careful with somebody who has addictions of any kind and a person that gets violent, you know, when they're under the influence, okay? This person is an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini individual, okay? Um... This person could beat you, you know, um, could be a womanizer or something when they get drunk. Um, this person gets violent, okay? This person can pull a weapon on you when they get drunk. And, like, you, he, you know, it just depends, you know. Some people, like, you, some people can get like that, but you have to do something for them to pop off like that. But then you have those of them where... You could, dinner could be late. You know, he wanted dinner at 7 o'clock. You didn't have a rabbit to 7.30. And he ready to come in and beat your ass. Because he's drunk and he want to be violent and act a whole fool. Like, that's that's not, it, it, there's no reason <laughs> to jump on somebody like that. Especially somebody that you're supposed to be in a relationship with and love or whatever. But I'm just giving you an example, okay? Um, if you got off of work at 5 o'clock... But when you got off of work, there was heavy traffic. You had to stop by the gas station, get gas. You had to go to the grocery store, pick up a few items uh, or whatever. And say, you didn't make it home to 7 o'clock. He drunk, he gonna get violent with you. Okay, so it just, you know, it could be a night. You could be on your cycle. He want to get, you know, he want to have sex. You on your cycle. You cramping. You don't really feel like it. He could be drunk and act a plump fool, child. So you just got to be careful. Be careful of what you get yourself into, love. Um, He says that he feel you even when y'all are apart. He said, I feel you even when we are apart, okay? So this is a person who definitely has a heart, okay? Um, they, they, they just got some other underlining issues. I, I don't know. I feel like... Mm -hmm. this uh, this alcohol addiction that they have it could be from stresses from work 
and different things I'm really feeling like, you know, um, and maybe this person wouldn't be like that if they didn't have to go through certain hardships. But nevertheless, um, this person, you know, f feels you or thinks about you <clears throat> when y'all are apart, okay? And he's saying his life is not together as it seems. And he could be saying this because, you know, <clears throat> perhaps you, you or others are unaware that he has an alcohol addiction or maybe a drug addiction or something. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> They're messing with my throat chakra. They don't want me to say this. They don't want me to get this out for some reason. Um, but it's okay. Like, nobody is perfect, you know? And if, 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 if he is willingly and actively working towards trying to do better, feel better, be a better person, you know, he could work through this, especially with the four swords here and, and, and having, you know, and doing recovering from things and rehab and different things like that. Okay. But everybody just needs to be careful. Okay. Um, but I feel like what really makes him angry and violent and, and, and a lot of things probably stems from things that he's had to endure, he's had to go through, um, his job, his work, the pressure, um, maybe even stemming from family issues, um, childhood trauma, all kinds of things. This could be something that he's been battling with for a long time, you know. And like I said, nobody is perfect. Everybody deserves to have love, okay. But at the same time, every you know, you need to be careful as well, you know. Okay, guys. Well, that concludes your messages for tonight, okay. This is my new series of Zodiac Expressions. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Um, this is something that I'm going to more frequently do for you all. Just to kind of touch bases with you, um, you all to see, well, you know, what each zodiac sign is going through and dealing with. Um, so I thank each and every last one of you for listening and for watching. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe. If there is anybody who would like to contact me, um, either for a missing mystery, a murder mystery, or a general topic or reading that you would like for me to do, I would be more than glad to do so for you. You can email me at tiffanyziggler60 at gmail.com. Um, the correct spelling for that will be in the description box below. If there is anyone who is feeling generous and would like to donate to the channel, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. You will help me to grow and to glow this channel. You will help me and uh, well, you will assist me in healing and helping as many other people as I so possibly can okay i thank you in advance and i greatly appreciate it with every fiber of my being you can donate um to the channel um through cash app it is dollar sign tiff diamond three six okay you can also find the correct spelling for that in the description box below okay guys well I wish each and every one of you a very happy Thanksgiving. You all be safe, okay? Um, as I always tell you all, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Y'all be careful out Black Friday shopping. Um, make sure you have you some type of protection on you, some pepper spray, some mace, a pocket knife. Um, if you're licensed to carry and have your weapon on you, you know, there's some criminalistic opportunists out here that are just waiting for the perfect time to get over on somebody. Make sure you have you some type of protection, a taser, something, guys, okay? Um, try not to go out alone. If you have some friends or some family members or something, click up with them and y'all go out together as a group or try to shop in the daytime or try to, you know, get what you can get online so you can beat the crowds, the long lines, and all of that, okay? Okay. Y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, and watch the surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well, okay? Um, Y'all know this is a wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around every single corner. You just never know when somebody is going to try you, when somebody is going to betray you, when somebody is going to stab you in the back, okay? When somebody is just going to do you all 
wrong, okay? So as I always tell you all, stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared, okay? Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste.